You sent me that message the other day about the John Cena interview. I was just like, that one was life changing. Life changing of a watch. I texted him and then I texted you. Wow. I swear on my son. I texted him and then I texted you. Um, Thank you. And I said to him, I said, you are made for these things. Yeah. He's the man. Yeah, isn't he? Isn't he just the fucking man? He really <laughs> is. I, I, every time I've interviewed him a bunch of times now. Every time I leave, I leave going, I gotta be a better person. Like he's so I nice. He was and on kind. The Bad Friends podcast, which I'm a huge fan yeah, of. Yeah, I'm a huge fanatic. <laughs> Andrew Santino, give me that follow back. Uh, <laughs> I'm just a fan of those two guys and that podcast. And he was on them. He just he could, He's such a good riffer. Yeah, he's such a good riffer, and. He, uh, he was the first person to call me when Lana was born. 3.30 a.m. I sent the text at like, had it, been, it was like 2 or 3 in the morning. He called me after wow. a checkup. He goes, hey man, everything good? I said, everything's great. He goes, congratulations. Wow. He's always been such a, a, a good friend of mine. Seeing him do what he's doing now is incredible. Yeah. He fit, every time he does like a late night show, I just say, you fit in. Yeah. You're not a guest. Yeah. You're a buddy of the show. That's what it is. So, but watching, going back to that, watching that, uh, that interview you did was very like, you saw a different side of him and you saw like, it, it was heartfelt. It was two buddies hanging out. He was so open too. Like him and Howard Stern, I've I'm been a Stern oh, fanatic Stern's my whole life. so good. Hearing him on Stern was a different him that I've ever heard. I, I did an interview with him for the very first time when he had that show, True Grit yeah. or American Grit. American Grit. Yeah, yeah. And I, I was like, Hey man, like. Uh, where'd you hide the ring at WrestleMania 33? This was like right after the engagement. He's like, oh, that's uh, that's what I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep that to myself. And it's just like, what? Like it's not even like it's not a secret question. And here we are years later, and I'm asking him like in depth things, and he's like giving me full answers. Like what a what a different place of his life he's in. And he's great about not talking over people. Something I'm not great at. I've realized with my podcast going possible, you can find it on youtubecom Dylanpostle. You can find it everywhere. You find your uh, favorite podcast, Apple Pod, Spotify Pod, probably Google. Uh, yeah, Google's actually going away this weekend. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, that's going to shock a lot of people. Google Podcasts is going away. Okay. Yeah. It's supposed to. That's everywhere else. Huh? Yeah, everywhere else. On um, Pod Bay and yeah. st- Streamcast. Player.fm. <laughs> but I, I, I realized I'm horrible at talking over people because I always have something here. And because I know how bad my memory is, I want to go, yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't forget my memory is going really quickly. And I, I, I don't know why. It's just how I am. I need to get on that bio brain or whatever. Conrad Thompson talks about it all the time. It's some brain thing I'm going to try, but whatever. Uh, he, your guys' interview was incredible. I it, truly mean that. And I, I, as soon as I got done watching, I had to message him and I had to message you. Thank you. I, I didn't go into that with the intention to say this is my favorite interview, but yeah. we got towards the end and I'm just like, it was almost like an out of body experience where I'm like, this is way better than I could have ever imagined. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's, he's the best. And he texted me when he left and he's like, I couldn't think of a better way to end my day. And I'm like, Good. you didn't need, you didn't, didn't need, reach out. you didn't need to say that. You didn't even need to do this interview with me. No, and he didn't need to reach out. He didn't need to take the time and he didn't need to say that. Yeah. He could have just said, hey, man, thanks. Yep. And then shook my hand and then left and I wouldn't have seen him for but, another year. But or even the, the message yeah. could have just said, hey, bud, good time. Yeah. Couldn't have thought of a better way to end my day. Thank you. It's like, no, no, no. Thank you, John Cena. Yeah, man. I always call him John Cena just to pop myself. <laughs> or my, I just go my, to my buddy, my kid, my pal's back home. I just go, you know, my friend John, you know him. You might have heard of him. <laughs> Just to get like that shit eating grin. I like they just just to get same as the six mania, you know, six mania Dell here. <laughs> just to like get whenever I hear ugh from my friends back home, it makes me happy. <laughs> because again, I not taking myself seriously. They know I don't. They know I don't take myself like that. They don't I don't view myself that way. And uh so whenever I just say it to pop myself, yeah. that reaction out of them makes me happy. 